Um, yes, hello, uh, welcome to Temple of Sorrows. I am your DM and host, Aramon. At least that's what you're gonna hear me be called, because we don't use real names around here. Um, this is a, this is a D&D 5e podcast set in the homebrew world of Ilvicta, which has been in development by myself since late 2019. It's a world of insanity, monsters, no regard for balance, a bunch of Destiny 2 references, and population density. Also, a lot of references to previous campaigns that haven't been recorded. Yeah. So let's go. So, we're a Discord friend group that originally came to go together over D and D. One of us is new, but you don't get to know which one. Um, you could you can describe us as chaotic, chaotic. That's the general vibe. This is well. This is my. This is our first time recording a podcast. This is my first time DMing a game. So do bear with us. I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. But at least it's gonna be fun. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, welcome to Temple of Sorrows. So the first thing we're going to do is I'd like you all to introduce your characters and and describe them, because we forgot to do that last time. In what order? Uh, let's do age order again, just so that Hunter has to go first. Alright, what's up, y'all? I'm playing a... What is your name, fighter... my good what? sir? What is your my name? My name's Hunter. Yes. My name's Hunter. I'm, a, I'm playing a fighter warlock named Cade heartbroken in his past and now he's doing everything he can so i guess prove the girl wrong who rejected him all right what does our good friend Cade look like Cade's about six one not skinny but like skinnier uh it does have some muscle on him kind of dresses i guess like a uh modern cowboy with the vest and the white t or the white uh, button up under it sleeves rolled up to his uh his Elbows, wearing some jeans, long, scraggly black hair, and almost glowing green eyes. Nice. Uh, Z, like human. Z, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're the next eldest person here. Yeah, I'm 18. I uh, think I am. Uh, okay. Would you like to introduce yourself and who you are playing? <clears throat> I am I'm Z. Chaotic, chaotic. Does describe me anyway? Uh, name, name my character on Discord, but I am uh, Ura Lionheart. Uh, it's my character. He is a monk, and uh, basically he's a bulky, tall man who used to be a knight. Uh, and he was dishonored as he failed, and now is coming back after many years of exile to reclaim said honor. Nice. Uh, Marillo, would you like to go, or have you left us? Uh... Oh my god, okay, I have not left him. Um, hello, all the peoples on the internet. My name is, uh, Murillo Rivero Bezerra, but that is hard to pronounce. Um, and I will be playing another hard to pronounce thing. Uh, her name is Krokrgif Anamaris. Um, she is a Zorflagoth cleric. Uh, Zorvaloth is a weird homebrew race that's basically a four-armed bug thing. Uh, with sonars instead of vision, so that's fun. Uh, she is uh, this weird horrible nightmare thing, but she comes from a family of elves. Uh, she was adopted at a very young age, and after her father's death, she was discomforted by a knight of Sir Sharad. The Elder God of Death. Which sounds scary, but I swear to God it's not. Uh, now, many years later, she is out and about, just traveling the world and looking for the knight that once helped her. Nice. Tibetan, would you like to go? Hi. Um, yeah, I'm playing uh, Lucifer, who is a, uh, a noble member of the military who is mentally distraught. From his years of torture. Well, not torture, but uh, horrible sights there. Torture could describe it. Yeah. Would you, would you like to give us a brief description of what he looks like? Oh, um, Lucifer is a tiefling, and he has a nice-looking longsword. He has uh, horns that have two short protrusions on each that look like the sort of antlers. He wears chainmail armor and has pure white hair that hangs around the nape of his neck in length and has scars covering most of his body except for his face, which are many few and small. Nice. 
All right, so to recap, this is actually the official session one. The last session we did was a test session, but it did happen and it was canon. So what happened in our last session was our, our group minus Z uh, went down into the under slums of New Lodia, which is often called the capital of the world. New Lodia, the city of New Lodia, is the capital of the country New Lodia, and it's got a population of about 1.8 billion people over a 120 mile radius, and it's got seven big rings. They went down into the lowest ring, the seventh, otherwise known as the under slums. And there, they cleared out a shanty town which had been infested by a bunch of lesser famines and one famine. They fought some weird tentacle monster things that were walking on like hands and stuff. One of them was a spellcaster. And then they fought a rather interesting character known as he who knows or no 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 he he who hungers it was he who hungers who they dubbed he who who teleported away before they could actually um actually kill him then they returned up to the sixth ring they got some fancy gear Cade got a nice gun tibetan got his sword upgraded uh kurukagith got a necklace which allows her to recharge one of her spell slots and now uh, he, oh, Tibetan also got a, a new shield. But they were given a quest mm -hmm. by the High Priest of Asgaroth to go and retake a temple that had been claimed or taken over by followers of the Wraithic God Dishama, the God of Eternal oh, Entropy and, um, and Stillness. Yes, the sword is magical, but we're, get, we're gonna get into that later. <laughs> so we start again in the tavern we started in last session the tavern called to where the crow flies with all of you sitting around a table uh yeah what would you like to do all of you I'm still minus c I'm for sure. did, did you uh, go straight back and then drink like six more of those zorblagothian liquors yeah i did do that Understood. Roll, roll six constitution save. Roll a constitution save for me, buddy. Me? Yeah. With advantage. With advantage. We're making sure that you're that you're drunk. All right. Are you drunk? With advantage. With advantage. I might be drunk. He might be drunk. He might not be. I got a nineteen, baby. You got oh, a nineteen. God. You're not drunk. <laughs> oh, you're trying your hardest, here. but you haven't quite gotten there yet. Let's down another baby. I will put a gold piece down and fling it back. I'm pretty sure one of these is one silver. So a gold piece would get you like what, ten of them? You said five silver. Was it five silver? That'd be yeah. two of them then. Yeah. Well, we're trying to get drunk as fast as we can. Man's really just trying to get drunk. Okay. Um, Kate, are you doing anything? Uh, what time would it be? Uh, it's, it's like mid-afternoon now. You're approaching the evening. Um, he's going to order a few more of his, the drinks from Rano. The, I guess the hard liquor from Rano. Just a couple, uh, just a, a couple drinks. Alright. Okay, so, that's a couple gold down. Just subtract two, because I don't really remember how much that cost. Um... So, Kuroko Gith, are you doing anything in particular? Um, you know what? What's the name of the drink that uh, Mr. Lucifer's getting? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to go back and search. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and search because I forgot the name. Uh, I, yes, I, I ain't making you look it up. I, I wrote the name. I wrote it in Zorba Gothic. That's... wow. I've got, I've got this all. Hold up, where is it? I'm I'm having issues finding it. Um. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember. It's we're just gonna call it a very hard Zorvlagafian liquor right now. It tastes like condensed ghost peppers. Okay, you know what? I am going to go up to the bar, sit right next to us for another myself one of those. All right. That's five silver. Alright then, what's what the fuss is all about? 
Lucifer, you're not you're gonna hate me for this, but because she's a Zorbla goth, she she, she yeah, she it doesn't affect her. She's got stupid high alcohol tolerance. She doesn't even have to like roll. I mean you can she can roll. She can make the roll with proficiency though. Nah. Yeah, with proficiency. It's just a con save if Yeah, it's a con save. Sixteen. She coughs once. Uh, I didn't register plus two, so that's an eighteen. Oh. Yeah, you're so fine. She just takes a sip, just looks over the uh, Lucifer, just meh. I like something stronger myself. Bartender looks at you and he's just like, "What?" Okay, so. As the bartender staring at you with a um, expression of disbelief as you said you wanted something stronger after he just served you probably the strongest thing he has, uh, Z, you enter the bar and you have instructions to look for, um, well, a gunslinger, a holy warrior, and a Zorvlagoth cleric. Do I see these uh, particular individuals in this uh, tavern or bar? Uh, you see, you see the gunslinger sitting at the table, or the who you assume is the gunslinger because he has guns. Sling. I'm Would, slinging them all around. <laughs> Would you like to approach Cade? Yeah, I'll approach Cade. As you I'm approach him, like... he's probably already reaching into his pocket, pulling out a cigarette, just lighting it as you kind of walk up. <clears throat> uh... do, do I know who exactly sent me to meet these people? Yes, you were hired by the same priest that hired them. Uh, you were... He hired you because he recognized you from the Order of the Lionhearted. So you you were hired to help them retake the temple. So uh, are you the gunslinger on this team? He just takes a drag of a cigarette. <sighs> it's not usual. People come looking for me. It's usually the other way around. How can I help? I was hired like you. I'm. You can see. Join you, I suppose. Yes. You were hired by the High Priest of Asgaroth, so... Unless Cade uh, has amnesia, he should remember that. Yeah. Oh. We were just talking to him earlier today. What does he want you to come to us? Can I say that one more time? Why does he want you to come to us? Oh, well, I am... Well, I was... Honorable and... Distinguished warrior. Not much anymore. We all are in our memories. As he reaches back into his pocket, pulls out the box of cigarettes, kind of opens it and offers you one. And there's just one left inside the box. No, no, thank you. I don't smoke. Your loss. As he'll just slip it back in his pocket. Take a seat, if you'd like. Yeah, um... Or, uh, is going to do so. Alright, um... Um... Krokogith and Lucifer, would you two like to join, uh, Cade and this new character at like your to table? to first finish these shots. You would, you would like to do shots again? I would finish... I, I, no, I, uh, I didn't drink the shots that I ordered. Alright, make me two con saves. With advantage? With proficiency. Oh, all right. You are. You've already had your advantage roll. Uh. All right. So we're gonna put the fifteen in front of the three. So you, so you take down the first one and then you cough. You take the second one. You roll a three. Uh, wait. No, that's a that's an eight because it's plus five. Yes, that's. I did an not eight. mean to put down two. Sorry. So the first roll would have been just a three. First roll would have just been a three. All right. Well. Yeah. Um. You are doing very well. Much. You're feeling it. It's up in your sinuses. It's in your face. You're coughing. You got tears coming out of your eyes now. You can feel it. 
Alcohol's coming in. Seeing as this stuff is like oh, what's wrong? 80%. Don't we have some sort of infernal heritage? Can you not really sustain the heat? You know, capsaicin and uh, fire aren't very much the same thing. Oh, I will stand up want some and water, uh, boy? grab my sword, ignore her, Karaku Gif, and uh, I will go and stumble a little bit towards the, the table that the two are sitting at and take a seat on a stool. Okay. Who are you? I will say to the newly uh, found man. Name's Hora. Uh, what race is your character? He's a human, I he think. He's a human, but he's okay. incredibly buff. So Alright. Why are you here? Immigration is you, I suppose. And Bolsaras? Correct. Oh? When are we gonna head out? Kay okay, just looks out the window. <clears throat> Seems like you're getting late. I doubt we'll be heading out anytime today. Well, as you're speaking of heading out, Lucifer, you actually get a thought in the back of your head. Since you were in the military and you do stay informed, you know that the armies of terror have been super aggressive as of late. So leaving the city by conventional means or legal means is not possible right now. Because a bunch of, like, four guards have broken through the line and made their way into uh, Melodia. The country, not the city. Give me my, uh, my indulgence of alcohol is let me to forget that we can't leave by common means right now. The armies of terror have been pretty goddamn aggressive. For the first time in a while. So they've started to break through a little bit in New Lodia. We should be fine though. Just gotta wait it out maybe. Well then I guess we might need to find something to keep our attention as of until we do leave. As, as you're... Um, okay, you go ahead. Crack the if you just orders another drink. Just kind of leans back from the bar and just uh, yells out. Boy, Kate, who's a new friend? Uh, hearing this, Cade's just gonna fit just down the rest of his drink and get up and walk over to the table. Or walk over to where uh, Crocker Gith is. I'd rather not yell our business over the entire bar, so it's the new guy. Hired by the same high priest that we were sent to find us. Well, would you like a drink, perhaps? I could go for another. I don't have anything else going on right now. Uh... Okay, then. And she just slides the drink that she ordered before to him. Just the Zorvla Gothic liquor. Kirk, I guess have at it. Oh, oh, no, wait, wait, I'm gonna wait. I want to see how this goes down. He just kind of looks at the drink, then looks at her. Looks back at the drink, kind of gets close and takes a sniff. I think this I'll bubbling. pass <laughs> It is blood red I'll... and fizzing violently. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with my normal drink. Uh, <laughs> she just downs it all at once. Kirk, okay. Will you make me a perception roll? That's always very good. Uh, check perception. Uh, that will be a 16. You feel someone staring at you. I would very much like to just stop for a moment and um, use my weird non-ordinary biology to use my blind sight and just feel around and see if they're here. Uh, see if there's anyone looking at us. Alright, so as as you switch to your 30 feet of blind sight, 
your your uh the flaps on the on your head that normally cover your mandibles and protect the soft areas kind of open up and you make a couple clicking noises and as you do this you with your blind sight you realize that someone is beckoning in the corner of the bar okay. there there is a table with three figures seated at it and one of them is beckoning I am sorry, that's against my knowledge. What the fuck does Bakuni mean? He is uh, waving his hand for you to come. Cade. Mm -hmm. Would you wait for me a moment? And she just gets up and goes over toward the table. After she already leaves, he's like, uh, I guess. <laughs> Before he can even give a response. All right. So, Kirk, if you approach this table, um, with your, your funny, funny echolocation, you realize there is a, a half-elf, a warforged, and a kenku at this table. Uh, and the half-elf stands up and bows to you and says, Hello. My name is Rafros Aknek. I am... The assistant officer for a, uh, kind of looks around, and he speaks kind of quietly. For a smuggling group. We are the Ninth Life. You may have heard of us. I couldn't help but overhear that you were having an issue with transportation. Although at least your group was. Well, we may have. Mm. Would you... So, what are you offering? Would you mind fetching your other friends? Cade, Lucifer, new guy, come over here. Lucifer will get up, walk over to Cade, see that he didn't drink uh, sort of the coffee and brew. Toss it down, walk over. You don't have to make me a save. I don't? No, not this time. What does that mean? He's already fucked. Yeah, you're already, you're already screwed, mate. Um, oh. Your nerves have already burned off. <laughs> So you walk over, Ruffros uh, introduces himself to all of you, and he introduces the Kenku as Sneak and the uh, female Warforged as Candle. And Ruffros, um, he kind of sits back down and he says, Now, if you're wanting to talk about transportation, Sneak is actually the one you're going to want to talk to. He's going to motion towards the Kenku. What an interesting name. How is it spelled? You hear a voice in your mind. Oh, it's just spelled like sneak. Like the word. That is the weirdest fucking sensation I've ever had in my life. And an interesting way of talking. You know you have my attention. <clears throat> Alright. Listen. So... Go ahead. I can get you out of the city where the ninth life can. But, uh, it's gonna cost you a little something. Now, we're not looking for cash currently. But there's a gang down in the underslums that's been disrupting our shipments. It's, uh, they're known as the Spitters. If you can get down in there, and stop the spitters from disrupting our shipments. I don't fucking care how you do it. Kill them. Bribe them, however. If you can stop them, we'll get you out of the city. And we can get you as far as Waylaid. From there, you can take an airship to Stronghold. And from there, you can take the high road to uh, Rano. So you've right. been My... eavesdropping. Keeping an ear out for business. Might I ask what exactly it is that you were smuggling? He's gonna... He's gonna look at you, he's gonna clack his beak. That's not a part of the deal. Is he still speaking in our minds? Yes, he's been speaking in your minds that entire time. Alright. He's got a little necklace that allows him to do that. Alright. <laughs> 
Do any of you have any objections? I will say while talking to the group, waving my hand drunkenly. Well, not exactly. I'm not very fond of helping to deliver a shipment that I know not of, but if it means getting out of here, then sure. Cade, new guy. Fine by me, I'm down. Z, so you might have to repeat yourself. What is your name, by the way? Yeah, you, you are very quiet. By yeah, the way. you might want to move your mic a bit closer. It's right in front of my mouth. Uh, I hate this mic so much. Uh, <clears throat> can you turn up your uh, input volume in your settings? Yeah, uh, it's all maxed out. Oh, really dang. Bad. All right, no worries. Uh, I don't mind as long as we're able to eventually get the job started. Yeah. How long? Uh, how long until we can? Complete this before the time runs out. I'd appreciate it if you finish it by tomorrow morning. <laughs> That's when the next shipment's leaving. Okay, then. So... Where do we need to go again? Well, he's gonna, he's gonna give you a map. This one is a much nicer map than the one the old man gave you in the last session. It's actually detailed. It is the uh, southwestern corner of the under slums. And the, the route to the um, area is clearly marked out. You can follow this, it'll get you to their general territory. general territory would you not know of a specific building maybe a headquarters of sorts well we know there's a headquarters but the ninth life isn't really combat heavy and all the scouts we've sent there haven't come back out the only ones that have have had bullets in their heads so we can only triangulate a general position okay then thanks to candle here see if we've See if we find any anyone strolling about. Ask him a little bit. Go to the headquarters. Maybe look for a few prisoners of yours. And the job's done. I don't think there'll be any prisoners, as the under slums are talking about. You can hope for the best, no? He's gonna laugh, but it sounds really more like a crow cawing. Ah, uh, you're naive. But optimistic. That's a good trait. He's gonna... He's gonna stand up and extend his clawed hand. Anyone like the shake on it? I'll pass my shaking. I will shake his hand. Okay, he shakes your hand. Where do we meet you when we're finished the job? Uh, you can come back here. Candle will be here to guide you. He nods to the, the Warforged. Sounds good. Very well. Guess we should get to well, work. I will, uh... I'm assuming this bar has an inn. It does. Right, I'm gonna go to the the front, well the front desk, and I'm gonna ask how much is a room. Well, you what? guys have to get this job done before tomorrow morning. Before tomorrow, I mean, you said by tomorrow morning. Oh, well, by tomorrow morning. Yeah, could, the, the could we leaving. get there like first thing tomorrow, like five a.m. Ah, uh, you could get there like five a.m. I'd I'd say that but, um just to add a bit on so that thing. this works the shipment's leaving a a little bit after midday. Oh okay then we I thought it was leaving like eight a.m. so I would be pressed for time if we're morning but no okay let's go. Yeah you can go to sleep. Um, the woman at the front desk is gonna look up at you. See so she's gonna look over all of you. She's going to see uh Krokogith and kind of pause for a bit. Like, well, how many rooms will you be needing? 
I'd like one by myself, please. Okay. I think we'll be getting four. Four? Uh, is that as a group or as individuals? Because I can give you a discount if you get it as a group. I prefer one by myself. As a group. All right. Separate room. I'll be paying for it as a group. All right. Uh, all right. So that is three gold a room, but we can take a room off. So that will be nine gold in total. As Kate will just put nine gold on the table. Thank you. And she's, she's going to take it and put it in a drawer. She's going to give you all keys and some numbers. The rooms are all conveniently located. Uh, two right next to each other and then two across the hall also right next to each other. I will call and then uh, walk up the stairs. She waves the liquor fumes that came out of your cough away from her. And looks at you very disapprovingly. Nice. Good night. I for my colleagues. I will say while walking into my room, closing the door. I've seen much worse. Have a good night. Fair enough. You too. As Cade will grab his key and he's going to walk out of the bar. The long rest must go. Yeah. Cade's gonna walk his way over to the tap, the not the tavern, the uh, tailor. All right. <clears throat> so you enter the tailor shop. It's still open. He'll be slipping a new cigarette into his mouth. You enter the tailor shop, and the first thing you see is a very short man. Well, you you don't know if it, actually if it's a man or a woman. They've got pink hair. They're like four foot eight. They look up you and like, oh, uh, hello. My name is Taylor. What can I do for you? I got into a scuffle earlier today, and it seems to have singed my clothes, as he's going to gesture to the obviously burned clothes. I was looking to get these fixed before I head out tomorrow. Taylor's going to come up to you. He's going to look at the clothes. He's going to kind of like, I'm unsure if I can fix these, but uh, my husband and I can get you set up with a pair that's almost identical. Or not too much. I mean, I could try and get Aramon to come in here and look at it. He's pretty good with burn damage, but, uh, I don't know. Whatever's cheapest and it'll look best. Alright, let me call him in. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna go to the back. You're gonna hear some conversation. And he's going to come back in, followed by another pretty short. He's like a foot taller than him. He's like 5'11". Tiefling, who has very long black hair uh just a regular red skin tiefling he's got some burn marks on his neck but they're pretty indistinct you know the comp to and just say hello i'm aramon uh i was told you wanted to see me about some burn damage oh it's the man himself it's the man <laughs> He's just gonna well, put his hand could, over well, towards me. Home. Yes, his name is also Aramon, don't ask. Um, <laughs> he's gonna get just gesture over to the... Are you still- are you have... still wearing these clothes? He's still wearing them. <laughs> but naked. Alright, so Aramon's gonna look at him, he's gonna be like, Alright mate, this is gonna be really weird. I promise, there's nothing odd about this. I only do this with my husband in that type of way. I'm going to need you to strip for me. As just- he doesn't care. He just starts- he just takes off his vest and unbuttons his shirt and just takes him off. Alright, uh, thank you, mate. He's, he's gonna look at the, um, the clothes. He's gonna- he's gonna bring the- the burned part of the clothes up to his nose and sniff them. He's gonna kinda look at you slowly like, Did you get a fireball thrown at you? Mm, that may or may not have happened. Huh. You see, it's, all, it's always harder with regular fire, because you can't, like, it's gonna wiggle his fingers in the air, you can't, like, reverse it in any way. But with magical fire, it's it's easier. I, I Don't ask me why. I don't know why. I'll be back in a minute. He's gonna, he's gonna go back. He's just gonna sit there, he's like, his arms crossed, he's tapping his foot, shirtless in the tailor. <laughs> I like how th this tailor has a glass door and a big glass display window, and you're just standing there shirtless. Yeah, he's fine, he doesn't care. Ta 
the the very short pink haired man Taylor's gonna look at you he's gonna be like hmm interesting people we get these days he's, he's gonna go to the back as well at so least it wasn't my pants at least it wasn't your pants yes he's wearing his rubber ducky underwear <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Just the stuff buff cowboy man. Rubber ducky. <laughs> if, uh, okay, rubber duckies are now canon. Uh, Aramon's gonna come back, and the clothes the clothes are new. They 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 look good. They're a bit crinkly in a couple spots, but they look pretty much the same. They yeah. done? Uh yeah, right about. That was. Easy enough, but also a bit odd. There was a bit of weird energy in there, but it's uh, now easy enough to draw that stuff out. How much would that be? Uh, what's your price range? He's just gonna kind of have a confused look. Um, I'll give you five gold, just with a smile. Aramon's going to actually laugh. He's gonna... He's gonna look you in the eyes and be like, Mate, listen, been there, done that. I spent an entire, I don't know, 20... No, not 20, 20 like 10 years doing that. Um, You can do better. That's all I got. Uh, Armand is going to roll a sleight of hand check. So I'm, I'm gonna... Have like can, I roll, can I roll deception? <laughs> no. Armand's gonna roll a sleight of hand check. He's going to get a 30 because he's a level 20, uh, thief. Uh, he's gonna, he's going to hold up your, your coin purse in front of you. What? Are you sure about that? As he's just gonna grab it out of his hand, reach in, grab five gold. All I got. <laughs> uh, he's gonna roll another sleight of hand check. He's going to roll a twenty-nine. I am actively watching him now. You can't do anything. Um, you can roll a perception if you really want to. Can I roll? Uh... Can, roll a can I roll if you really want stepping to. ten feet away from him? Yeah, can I can I take a step back from him? He's going to hold up fifty of your own gold. Oh fuck! I mean, I'll take tw I'll take thirty, but like, you don't have to make this difficult. Says the person who's taking my coin purse. You know what? You've got yourself a deal at five. <laughs> no, no, he's gonna be like, yes, yeah, twenty's fine. <laughs> Three, thank you. I'll give you thirty. Oh, you'll give me thirty. I'll take that. <laughs> no, he 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 uh, he gives you twenty of the gold back, and then takes the thirty that he's keeping. It's like pleasure doing business with you, and watch your back, mate. You got a nice There's attitude, another way to but make it. I'm like, yeah, that's true. And I could kill people for a living. way that it is to live <sighs> he's just gonna be like thanks again as he's just gonna kind of toss it over his shoulder and walk out shirtless <laughs> walk back to the inn as you leave Armand's gonna look at Taylor Taylor's gonna look at Armand Armand's just gonna kind of laugh like man I would have liked to run with him back in the day now we're back to work all right we cut back to the inn Uh, you walk into the inn shirtless, and, um, a bunch of people look at you really weirdly. But nobody stops you because this is New Lodia, and there's a population density of 1.8 billion. Stuff like this happens literally every day. A population density of 1.8 billion? There's yeah, 1. No, that's, that's a ton of people. Um, 1.8 billion over it. Population density hour. is like... Hundreds people per. Oh, it was, it was uh, something crazy. It was like I think like it was like that. forty thousand people 47, per square. Forty-seven thousand per square kilometer. 
Oh my fucking god. How is there three rooms in the end? Well, uh, the underslums are very large. True. Yeah. Imagine a hive city from. Uh... It's, it's basically a hive city from Warhammer 40k. But it goes underground. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay. How many people are in the end? Um, quite a few. There's a good, like, 30 people down inside of the tavern space alone. Um, the inn you've gone into is three stories tall. You can't tell how many rooms are in it, but there weren't very so many keys to... left on the board. If I were to guesstimate how much gold it would be to buy one round for everyone in there. Uh, how expensive are you willing to go? I guess, like, how much was the drink that... The drink you got was just one gold. And how much... What's, like, the... Or how much was the drink that Lucifer bought? That stuff was five silver, but that is... That... Most people don't drink that. Okay, so... Uh, he'll just kind of walk in. Everyone just kind of looks at him for a sec, gets back to their own business. Or as, as everyone looks at him, he'll be like... We'll set a look at everyone back to you on drinking. As he's gonna walk over to the bar. Or, yeah, he's gonna walk over to the bar with his jacket over his shoulder. And just put down 30 gold on the table. And he'll say it's one round for everyone in here. As he'll walk up to his room. The bartender takes the gold. You hear him call out. Alright, there's a round for everybody. And then there's a, a little bout of cheering. And then... It didn't, the, the regular bar noise ensues. Uh, he'll head to his room. All right. Would you all like to take a nice long rest? Before we okay. long rest. Okay. Before. I would like to. Uh, I'd like to just look over my sword. Would you like to make roll sure that the... an investigation check on your sword? I just want to make sure that's okay. Like if that guy didn't mess up anything on it. We'll look at it. You if realize you your sword. You'll see Aramon. <laughs> Aramon is standing behind you, t posing. No. Uh, as you, look, I... as you look over your swords, you realize that the cloth on the handle is a bit loose, and it looks like it's falling off. Okay, um... You can see underneath it, and there's something that you never really saw before, but you can't really tell what it is. I'm gonna, uh, unravel the cloth, getting ready to put it back around tighter so it's not loose. There is writing in Infernal on the hilt of this blade. I'm assuming you can speak Infernal. Yeah, I'm, I'm a thief and I can automatically speak Infernal. Alright, so the writing on the blade, um, part of it you don't really understand. It looks like magic stuff, like some type of like spell of some kind. Um, and there's a bunch of really flowing script that identifies the blade as having a name, which is the Twisted. And it identifies the, the owner, the original owner of this sword, as Algamoth. Would you like to roll me a history check? Sure. Let me get my proficiency bonus real quick. This one, I need to be sure. History. A fuck. Not one, baby. You have no idea who Algamoth is or how the person that you worked with had this sword. Because it looks magical. Like, absurdly magical. I'm gonna look at it more just try to figure out what this what what the stuff that's uh that i can't read says do you like to roll me a perception check all right that's one of the... and a deck safe actually oh okay oh that's my perception check if, fucking, if i hear an explosion in the room across from me uh natural 20 deck safe that is Exactly the opposite of what you wanted to happen. Oh, for fuck's sake. Your mind is quiet and you do not slip the blade. The, you just hold it steady. I mean, I guess I could be good. I don't know what the fuck was gonna happen. Yes, uh. Can I read what it says? Yeah, so. Uh, it, as, as I said, it identifies the owner of the blade as Algamoth, and the sword actually no. has a name, which is the Twisted. The text that I can't read. The, the text that you can't read? The text that you... you can read it. It's in Infernal. 
Um, it has something to do with the blood of the king. And... Uh, something about consumption. And another thing about rage. And then something else about channeling. But a lot of it is scratched out. Uh, do you know your own family history? Would you like to make me a history check with advantage? Alright. Alright, so this is the first one. This is a plus four. Alright, so that's first. Uh, same roll. Eleven. Wow. Eleven? Yeah. Alright, so this is a really easy check, because you know your family's history. You know that your family originally was descended from the King of Hell, Gigash. Oh, fuck. That's unsettling. So, would you, would you like to make me another, another perception check? Yeah. Alright. Sixteen. Way better. You scratch the blade, the hilt a little bit, and a bit, a bit of the rust comes off, and it says, uh, you can read the words hungers for the blood of the king. Can I roll to see if I piece this shit together? I'm still drunk as fuck. Would you like to roll me another deck save and another perception check? Alright. <laughs> Let's see this deck safe, baby. <laughs> I'll just be another net delay. A 14, All right. and my perception check, a 15. So in your drunkenness, you uh, kind of stumble, and you cut your hand on the blade. And as you do, you feel a presence in your mind. But it quickly goes away. But there was something there right after you cut your hand. A knock on my head. The presence does not come back. The fuck was that? I'm gonna look at my sword. Would you like to make me another focus my gaze. Another perception check. Uh nineteen. There are voices. The sword is speaking. Can I understand them? No. How many? The sword is speaking. Exactly 37. No. <laughs> it, 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 it's to... the same voice, but the voice is lapping over itself. Can I try to um, understand it? Uh, I mean, you can. It does not sound like any language you know, though. So it doesn't sound you do. Like... You do pick out a couple words. You pick out the words hungers, blood, and king once again. Ugh, this is fucked. Then you hear the words I hunger, and then blood, and then king. I'm gonna take the cut that was on my hand, I'm gonna okay. squeeze it onto the blade. They get louder and a bit more distinct. Oh, fuck. Is it, does it hurt? Um, as, as the blood falls onto it, it, it doesn't just splatter. It gets onto the blade, then it sizzles and, like, evaporates. The sword feels uh. different now. Like, there is, there is something off. There's something, not off, but there's something different about the sword now. This is probably gonna fucking hurt. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make it bleed more, okay. but without, like, putting it onto the blade, and I'm gonna just smear it on there with the palm of my hand. So All as you do, you get a slight burn on your hand as the blade begins to glow red hot, like you're using your searing smite, but without your command. And as, as you smear your blood all over this blade, runes appear upon the blade that you'd never seen before. And the voices, the voices reach like a completely audible level, and they're screaming about the king of hell, and how it had to be done, and just some things you you can't even understand because they're so far removed from what you experience as a mortal. 
and then the voices stop, the blade dims, but the ground shakes. Oh, that was the coolest fucking shit ever. Man, and I am so drunk. My friend. <laughs> Everyone else feels the ground shake, by the way. You have gained a plus two weapon. Pardon? <laughs> Your sword is now plus two, and it will speak to you sometimes. <laughs> that doesn't mean it likes you, but... <laughs> Would you would you all like to take a long rest now? Now that Tibetan's sword has uh come alive. Wait, plus two damage not. and attack. Yes. <laughs> oh, sick. This, this is the insufferable. This is the trade off for uh Cade's five hundred magnum doing twelve damage, or twelve one uh, d twelve. <laughs> this is going perfect. By the way, that uh that scream. Uh, or that yell of, uh, of excitement was from Lucifer. All of you hear you Lucifer yelling, and then the, then the, there's an earthquake. Okay, Crocker Gif is going out <laughs> and knocking on his door. Crocker <laughs> Gif, would you like to make me a perception check? Oh, boy. Uh, that would be a five. Um... There's something wrong. Your 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 cleric your cleric skills are picking up a little disturbance here. This doesn't feel like elder god unnatural. This feels like demon unnatural. I am just pounding <laughs> his doors. Lucifer, what are you doing? <laughs> oh fuck. Um, I'm going to... Are you going uh, to tell her that you've been feeding your sword your blood? Uh, 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 I'm drunk! Uh. <laughs> hey, he just pokes his head out, or opens the door, walks out, we can tell. <laughs> okay, help him break down the door. We can no. pay you later. <laughs> I just walked over, still shirtless, puts his gun against the door and blasts the lock. <laughs> <laughs> just like her hair is all messed up. She's wearing like open pajamas. <laughs> We're both not ready for this. Just keep. He is in boxer briefs with his hand just cut open like down the. Pole. The room smells. Blood. The the room smells like blood. And sulfur. I am not going to judge. <laughs> but this. Is freaky. Z, what, what did you say? Uh, my character walks out in a full nightgown. Um, <laughs> We're all. <laughs> he's holding on to a pillow. What the hell is going on out here? Wait, what? Do you have sleep being in that? Uh, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? You know I'm what? I quit. don't think I'm gonna. Oh, I think I'll pass on whatever's going on here. Kate's just gonna walk back into his room. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna quickly uh, lay on hands myself to where my wound closes up. Oh my god! In my hand. So the the wound closes, but um, it scars, and that concerns you because minor wounds like this don't usually scar, but it scars. Does it, like, contract the skin to where my hand feels different than normal, or is it just a scar? No, but there is a visible scar there. I'm gonna, um... The room smells like... The room smells like sulfur, right? Yeah, sulfur and blood. Uh, Garfield just walks in and says, Was for if you'd set fire to the curtains, I swear to God, I'm sending you to Sir Sharada. <laughs> I'm gonna um I'm gonna take the sword. Well, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put down my sword like by my uh by my bed stand, and I'm going to take the the dagger from uh from its case that's on my uh on the nightstand, sitting beside the bed, and I'm going to uh I'm gonna make a tiny cut down the middle of my thumb, mm -hmm. just enough for it to bleed like deep enough. And I'm going to go over to the blade, and I'm gonna wipe it across it. Uh, it sizzles, and the blade starts glowing slightly again. Alright, and then I'm going to lay on hands myself to heal that cut. It scars. Uh, 
Yeah, at this good. point she's walking in. She she does go as she's you just also lose the room three for hit points for this whole fiasco. Oh, I heal all that back for my lay on hands, baby. No, so he walks in, sees him like crouched over. Uh, would you like to make me a religion check to investigate the runes on his glowing blade? That's very nice. Religion, um, 22? Tw oh my gosh. Uh, demons. <laughs> there, th these are not normal runes. These are not Elder God runes. These are not Lesser God runes. These are demonic. Like, powerful hey. demonic. Yeah, I'm going to look What's at you that? drunkenly. After looking at my thumb for a little bit, as there's a tiny little scar in it now. Yeah. She's just going to approach him and say, like, in a very calm, nurturing voice, Could you please stand up so I can break both your legs? What? Why in the nine hells does your sword have demon runes on them? I think you should leave. I'm going to say what's now. You think? Oh, I think you have a lot of I need to do. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm gonna uh, begin to push her out of the room. So how how long do you think you guys have been at this? Around oh, well, minutes. Like five yeah. minutes. Yeah. I'd say I say it's it took him, I I'd say it took him like thirty minutes to figure it out. And oh. it's been around five minutes now of them just arguing. So it's been like five minutes since your sword started glowing and. As you, you, you try to push her out, but then you look back and you realize that the voices have stopped and the sword has stopped glowing. It is no longer a plus two weapon. Oh my fucking god, it has to feed it and hold it. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, this is, this is a requirement. You must feed the blade your blood in order to make it a plus two weapon. Look, please just explain to me. Why are you so no, 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 and just goes to sleep. Zerzerag gives you patience. Yay. He pats you on the head, tells you you're doing a good job. <laughs> oh. He's a very nice elder god of Can death. Can I try to fix my door? Uh, <laughs> your, your door is beyond repair. You're going to be charged extra for that. Fuck. Uh, would you and all like... Hey, you like you. Would you all now like to sleep? Yes. Yeah. I I'm already yeah. passed out in this room. Unless you want to give any of us more demon rituals to do. No, no more demon rituals to, until later. You want me to roll that percentage die? <laughs> uh, you can roll it. If, no, you don't even have to roll it. You have nightmares about hell. I like how Kay just blows his door open, <laughs> sees what's going on. <laughs> just, nope. Just beats <laughs> that up. Not getting involved in that. Just goes back. <laughs> I'm guessing I have a hangover. Ah, uh, you do. You do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up and get dressed. All right, it's now morning. You guys have a job to do before the midday. Okay, that does go then. Is that all? Right? Wait. Wait, wait, wait again. Is everyone awake? Are you yes, all awake? Mm -hmm. All right, session one. Um, session one. Uh, all right, so who has the map? He who has the map. I think you guys have you. Either Merlo or Tibetan. Hmm. Oh, okay. We're gonna. Or Rochambeau. We're gonna stick Tibetan in the front because he's the one with the plus three shield. I don't know. You plus guys figure shield, it out. Plus two sword. Only if he feeds it. Today. Only if he feeds it. Yeah, he's he's just a glorified yeah. blood hunter now. That's literally it. 
I I have a, a strange obsession with um, sacrificing hit points in order to gain advantage. Hey, but then I am giving you this warning out of character in events. If you stab yourself during combat and your sword starts to glow, I am snatching that sword out of your hands. No, you're not. I am spending a full <laughs> action to confiscate your sword. <laughs> Oh, this is so great. I love my decisions as a DM. Um, all right, so would, would you like to determine marching order and then proceed to the general area? Hey, yeah, naturally, in the area. back. Unless you guys want him to tank an entire session again. Okay, I want to go in front behind the man with the glowing sword. It's no longer glowing. It's a regular sword right now, unless he fed his blood again. This yeah. is the monk, you are maneuverable. You can go at everybody. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll be the party, I'll tank. Alright. All so, right. marching order is... I mean, I assume you don't have to be on like, a straight line. No. Mm. You guys can move as a group. Yeah. You know, I, just, I would uh, like to be Zian, in the front. Uh, Zion was from front, and me in the middle, and... Way back, like 60 feet behind everyone's cave. <laughs> how the gunslingers feel. Let's see how that works out for him. What? Oh, what? 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 I mean, he's American He'll psycho, be but... traveling with the group, but like, what? behind him. <laughs> okay, so, you guys all, you go, you go down back into the under slums. Uh, people look at you funny again because you're obviously not from the under slums. Someone comes up to Kurokagith, asks them to hold a funeral for their husband that just died of rot. Oh, um, can... How... It doesn't even have to be long. She can just say, like, a prayer over the one piece of him that still exists. Where is he? She's holding his hand. Oh, okay. Oh. It's the only piece oh, of him that still exists. Do you have to hear a huh? Um... <laughs> Need a hand? Gonna... Oh my god. He was killed by a flesh amalgamation. This is what happens. Okay, we just kinda, uh, puts all four of her hands together and says, Oh, Sir Shrug, Lord of souls and death, may his soul wander into the afterlife unharmed peacefully. Amen. Alright, so she, she departs off, and you, you think you see out of the corner of your eye the Elder God of Death himself hanging behind her with his lantern and his scythe. Because he don't want he don't want people to be sad. Alright, would you like to continue? Uh, yes, sure. I, I guess. By the way, um... The general territory. What what sort of action is it to awaken my blade? Uh, it's a bonus action to to feed it your blood. Okay. To sacrifice um, up to up to um, up to six hit points. In which I'm case, say... it'll be ten minutes of magic and not just five. I'm going to say um, that while they were while uh, we were resting, I uh, I retied the the. Uh, the cloth around the hilt. The, the, the cloth around the around the handle, not the hilt. The hilt is the is the is the protrusions. Oh. The handle is the thing you grab. Yes, that mm -hmm. thing. Around the handle. Yes, the handle. All right, so you go, you go, you definitely go. You don't just stand there because that'd be dumb. Uh, and then you reach this the general area that you were told that the spitters were in. Uh. Would you all like to make me some nice, nice perception checks? Sounds all good, right. boss. Roll me perception. That's a solid five. Natural one. You can't. Oh, you don't. You just take your modifiers. Wait, you're, you're all right, so beyond. we have all yeah, what? Oh, we you do what? Get your that share link. Cringe. Get your share link from D and D Beyond. Uh, okay. All right, we're and gonna figure go. this out. Yep. Go, uh, get, you have your share link. Now go into oh, Discord. Type exclamation point beyond space and then paste the link. 
beyond space and then went. No, exclam. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yep, perfect. Wow! Let's go. Alright, so what's the command for rule? Exclamation point check perception or percept. No space or? There's a space. Ooh, wow, like, I don't oh think boy! Wow. Um, where's my D twenty? <laughs> Here it is. Nine to one and a five. So we, the highest we've got is a nine. Let me. Where's my stat sheet? Where's my block? That was the highest you got. Yeah, right. we all rolled pretty shitty. Uh, okay, no, none of yours. All right. Uh, that's an actual twenty. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So, who um, ba 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 do ba di da ba do ba ba di ba do ba ba ra ba ka chu ka chu. Da ba do ba do. Cade, you're in the back, right? No, the monk's behind me. <laughs> Always. That's a lie. <laughs> uh, my uh, <laughs> who's in the back? Me. All right. Cade. Um, what is this? What's what's your AC? Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. You're rolling that. Oh, uh, let's see here. That's that's unnatural twenty one. That's seven damage. Where are my D sixes? Seven. Um. 13 17 That's 2 That's 20 That's 23 Cade, you take 23 piercing damage as a man appears from behind you and sticks you with a rapier Oh wow That's gonna hurt Alright, that's All right. How much health do you have? Again? More than half of my health gone Oh, let's go. And this this I'll man I'll uses his bonus action to hide. He's going to roll stealth. Let me roll stealth for him. Range? He rolls a fifteen on stealth. Is he gonna? Is he? Does he leave my attack? He's range? going to go poof. Wait, I don't actually. Uh, I think yeah, so. Wait, what? <laughs> You to take the hide action. You do need to, you know, be hidden. You can just hide in plain sight. If you're leaving the area, then you are being stared right at. Okay. Well, then he won't use the hide action. He will use his bonus action to take the disengage action and run the heck away. All right. Would you Would you all like to roll me the well, initiative? Shoot him. Yeah. Go ahead. Shoot him. Do the history. Let me. That's let me... a twenty. That, uh, oh, okay. A twenty to hit. Yeah. Is that a natural twenty? No, modified. All right. Uh, you're gonna hit him. Or, you no, like... sorry. No, not twenty to hit. That's a twenty on initiative. Oh, a twenty on initiative. All right. Uh, he rolled a he rolled a nine on his initiative. Let me open up my notes. Me too, man. So Hunter rolled a twenty. Oh my. Grillo rolled a ten. Tibbetton okay. rolled a nine. Um, Z rolled a seven, and our dear friend, the Underslum Drifter, rolled a. Guys, Wait, that's a nine him. plus oh, thirteen. Sorry, that he rolled a thirteen. All right, so Hunter, you are going first. Uh, first he's going to he, he's going to use his normal gun. All yeah, right. He's not going to use the ace and hole yet, just to make a singular attack at him. All right, roll Natural me that attack. twenty. All right. Um. All right. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I need him to make a strength check. <laughs> a strength save. Okay. Slow down there, tiger. All right. You, no. you roll the natural twenty. I will. Ma I'll make the strength. To I'll make the strength save. Let me find everything. What's the strength modifier? Absolute panic in the DM's voice right now. All right. Uh, he rolls a six. 
Uh, he's now oh. knocked prone. All right, uh, roll your double damage dice and also roll me a d100. Okay. Wait, uh, is the starting dice also doubled? What? You, you hard me. Imagine if what? you had hit him with the ace. I mean, the ace in the hole. I mean, like. Yeah, I, I that's usually gonna be my second, my bonus action attack, or my right. second, uh, my action surge attack. So right. I can get advantage on my next attack if I do not come prone. But overall, 15... Uh, 25 damage. 25 damage? All right, so... Oh, wait. No, sorry. Uh, uh, 20. All right, he's dead, but roll me the deer 100 anyway. Okay, uh... we non lethal shoot him. Sure, I'll shoot him in the leg. All right, yeah, his yeah. leg is gone. Would 95. You... 95? Yes. Oh my gosh. You're gonna have to roll me another two damage dice. <laughs> uh, and since his leg is already gone, he is permanently crippled. Wow. It ricochet, can it ricochet and hit him in the other leg? Yes, it can ricochet and hit him in the other leg. Feeling <laughs> an extra with these next two damage dice, 10 damage. Yeah. He is screaming in pain, writhing on the floor. He will bleed out if you do not save him. He has lost both All of right. his legs. So, let us approach Oops. this man. You lost hey there, buddy. <laughs> no. I am myself a practitioner of medicine, you know? And I can help you out here if only you tell me where your gang's headquarters are. I'll tell you fucking anything, just get this face my fucking legs before I die. Aid walks over and goes over near his head where he's on the- or crouches down neck near his head and he just feels the metal of a barrel against his head. Okay, I am going to cast healing ward on this man. Uh, oh. That was just Wait, like actually, hand, but okay. he's bleeding out, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so you could say that he's in a state where he'd be making death saving throws. In, in a bit, yeah. In a lot, if you leave him for like a minute, yes. Oh, okay. Then I, I would just want to know if I could use spare the dying to make him stable and not Wait. bleeding. I'm gonna look at you from Cade from the other side of him. He's gonna look at you. Can I hit him? Yes, you can hit him. Cade just pistol whips him. He he starts weeping, even more. He's terrified and he is in excruciating pain, and he's oh, he's I'm going gonna... to die down here because he doesn't have any I'm legs gonna... now. I'm gonna healing ward him. All right. Uh, he heals five. Wow, five. he's at three hit points. Uh, the bleeding stops. The bleeding stops. Okay, I'm search his over to him. Yeah, he can search his pockets. Can I grab his legs? Pockets, dude. This guy needs to pay for me <laughs> having to fix legs. this outfit <laughs> again. I, I want to grab his legs. Uh, no. <laughs> you can, you can pick up his detached legs. He has 18 gold on him. Hell yeah. I will, uh, the bad guys? <laughs> I will walk his legs <laughs> towards him leg. on the ground. <laughs> did you hear me? I did. I'm gonna walk. My, I'm gonna walk his legs towards him on the ground until they're right at his stumps. And then I'm going to softly kick the stumps, the open flesh, with his legs. Uh, oh my god. Not in a good position, are you? Uh, can, I, can I get real close to his face? And, and while I do that, I'm going to shove the foot into the stump and I'm going to say, Where are the others? He just <laughs> go down the street, go to the left, take a right. It's right there. Just I'm kill me! Take his, I'm gonna take his leg out of his leg. <laughs> this you is so like, screwed like, up. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, your leg. I'm gonna slap him with his leg until he's <laughs> unconscious. I'm just gonna beat the shit out of him with it. He From dies! Case, you'd be like, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. He dies! He's dead. You've killed him. That's a bit fucked up. You killed him with Bro his own legs. stabbing me through the chest. I'm gonna throw That's his, his own leg at him. Ball. And, and I'm gonna say, I'm sure you've ruined a couple of lives. You deserve this. You just killed uh, that I'm poor under slum drifter. Poor man. I'm gonna spit on him and I'm gonna, I'm gonna head the way where he said. All right. 
Uh, Maybe status. instead of penetrating me, he should have taken me out to dinner first. Like, <laughs> hey, he's very forward. Really what can I say? Uh, Neil's done. Says, may you avoid your stuff. I'll be a peaceful one. Uh, all right. Uh, would, would you like to go to the place that while, he told you? While we yes. walk, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a little play in my head towards Vegas, saying this was for you against all those that this man has ruined and has suffered. Blood for the blood god. Quite literally. I literally, I literally worship the god who is towards, um, vengeance and resentment. Yes. Alright, so, Do um, I get a response? Do I get a response? He is pleased. Alright. Alright, so... You, you go. You go, do you go to the, to the place that he told you? Or do you want to try, so... You, do you want to go towards the area? Yeah. Okay. I want to just roll perception to just be sure that it's not a trap or something. Okay. I don't think it was. But just quick perception, look around. Uh, 13. There is nobody in the immediate area. Okay. Um, can I, uh... Well, did, did that guy, did the guy that we just killed have any sort of strong scent on him? Oh, uh, no. He spelled like a underslum resident. So very sweaty. Yeah, kind of dirty. Alright, um... If that's so, then I'm going to sniff the air for anyone else that smells of the same scent as him. The underslum smells like literal shit. You cannot smell anything. Alright, then I cannot smell the... that. I'm gonna just keep my eyes open <laughs> and the... see if I can that find any time They try to literally sniff around for people. Yeah, <laughs> didn't he do this with the famines? The... Yeah. He yes. did this with the lesser famines, didn't he? Are you, like, good dude? Are you a dog? He is very, 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 very demonic. I yeah. see. This is funny, because you, you pretty did the same thing in my game yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I did! You sniffed around for something? He's the... Alright, no, that's different, because that guy was... <laughs> little, he was the little shy. He, he was like a shifter. No. So. No, no. Alright, so, you guys, go yes, up, you... while I go, I just want to say okay. it to everyone. Hey, um, we don't quite know how, you know, ethically in the right the uh, Nine Life people are here. Let's try to approach this with a more, um, non-lethal, uh, lead weight than the other guy. Maybe, maybe chill a little bit. Don't look I'm at me. I'm just gonna let you know that if they stab me through my new outfit, I mean, I'm just saying that we don't, we don't know what they're, you know, stopping from shipping. I'm not the guy well that be... shot his legs off. Okay. <laughs> not my fault. Very well be <laughs> helping out terrorists here. So let's no, just... you just beat him to death with his legs. <laughs> let's just keep him open mind, okay? If they can offer us, you know, assistance to get out of here and into the temple, then they're our friends. Would you, would you like to approach the, hop, skip and jump the, fuck the, out the, just the spitter headquarters that you were given the directions to? Yes, sir. There are heads on pikes. Okay, never mind. Everything I said. Yeah, <laughs> I know. These guys. Oh, so I'm sorry. Do you still want me to not blow their legs off? Keep doing that. I am that was fun. <laughs> would you I like? I am going to blow your legs off. All right. Yeah. So you see, um. The, the door, there's a door. It looks like a pretty, pretty, like, regular building. There's a door. There are two sentries by the door. So you can, you can try and sneak by them. Uh, or you can just go straight up to them. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna walk towards the sentries. Don't, I'm not gonna attack them, though. I'm gonna have my, uh, I'm just gonna walk up to them and I'm gonna say, let me through. Oi, mate, what you doing down here? Well, I'm just, he's gonna level his pike at you. Hey, you don't look like you belong down here, Mr. Redman. I'm gonna grab his pike. Um, I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to get closer. I'm going to say, let me through. And I'm going to roll intimidation if I can. Can I? Has he gone mad? Can I roll intimidation? Oh, I He's think muted. Aramon's down. I think Mike got to him. Michael. You brat. 
wow, wow, wow. It's probably still recording too. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be back in a second. Yeah. Yeah, he will. He better be. <laughs> Hunter, why? Why are there so many anime ladies on your uh, thing in the dude? Oh no, that's 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 the character Fine. from Lee, not the female version. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right, so what's good? <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Oh, the DM's gone. Yeah. The DM is gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh lord. So did oh, you ever find the picture for that uh? Barbarian? No, I was I was gonna ask you for that. I still need that. Please. Look for your well, damn self. Yeah. I don't have a Pinterest account. You leaving. don't need Pinterest. Go to Google. Yeah, Bitch. But Pinterest, Pinterest is, not, is such a better place for that. Just, Pinterest is just the worst Google images. It's way better. It's fucked up white girl uh, Google images. I like the other Google images. Like, come on, man. It's way better than what uh, I'm gonna find on here. Well, I've given you the pictures I could find, and those were off of Google. If only he was lighter skinned. Yo, what do you have against dark skinned people? I know, right? My what? character isn't dark skinned. So what do you have against? For fuck's sake. If you I don't have anything the... against it, it's just that my character is not dark skinned, therefore I, I mean, don't know if, it's, if, it's if you're still looking. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, Google Images, I just found a super buff dude with a big spear and a bear in his back. Boom. Don't want a spear though, I want a great ad. Oh, then commission some fucking art. Fuck you. I'm right here, I need money. Yeah. I don't have money. There's a, um... there's a starving <laughs> artist. Like that. I mean, buddy, you're not going to get a. Perfect thing. I'm like gonna get pretty goddamn close go. though. What well, the news? Fucking Hero Forge. No, like, Hero Forge is shit. Forge trash. Then you're just not going to get it. Like, I'm you want my deck? You want a suck perfect, my schlong? Suck of your it. Fucking character, you're suck not gonna it. get it unless you pay for it. Suck my schlong. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. You're the Suck. one who's not gonna get art, so sure thing, buddy. Suck my dick. Please? No. Please. That is a woman with no bra. Okay. Alright. I'm back. Hey, you're back. Uh, back. I would like to roll uh, intimidation I'd on like them. To roll intimidation. Yeah. All right. You can, you can roll intimidation. Why do you sound so sad? You can roll intimidation. I've got. We've got an hour and thirty to finish this up. Oh fuck. Oh, yeah. Twenty-five. Right. They're intimidated, but one of them runs away into the house. Can I shoot his legs? No. <laughs> You guys deleted okay, that last man. Give me this. No, I, I want to. Like... Just gotta go in spells blazing. Do you, gonna... Do you have an action Ooh. prepared? Well, I'm gonna wrong. walk. I'm gonna walk closer to the guy that I grabbed uh, his his uh, his spear. Right. I'm gonna grab him by the throat and I'm gonna throw him through the door. You throw him through the door. Um, two uh two bigger people come through the door. They're wearing armor. All right, Can I shoot them in the legs? <laughs> would you like to roll initiative or keep the old initiative order? I'll keep the old initiative order! I want to shoot the old initiative! We're, ke we're keeping... Oh, we're keeping? We're, cool. we're, we're, we're keeping. We're keeping. We're already re-rolling. We are already re-rolling. Okay. Re Motion of the ocean. Okay, I guess we're re-rolling. Let's go two uh, nines, a five and a one. 15. I just I got a 16. A 16? All Wait. right. Yeah, 16. Hunter's a 16. Uh, Tibetan got a 14. Yep. Um, what did you get, Marillo? Uh, 
Okay, I got a nine. We all managed to. A nine? Uh, am I supposed to reroll or just start with the old one? Uh, you can reroll or keep your old one. Okay, then I'm keep my old one. My, uh, I'm gonna keep this one. No. What? I'm not, I'm not rerolling the sixteen. All right, you're still after Hunter because Hunter is a higher dex mod. Uh, Z. Five. Z here. Z is Zao. Oh, yeah. He is not with us anymore. Oh. Uh, that's okay. It <laughs> will be okay. I maybe I. Uh, I was counting on him being here for this. All right. Uh, we can roll initiative for him. The other one rolled a seven. Uh, oh. seven. He'll return at some point. We can say that he is taking a nap. All right. Just leave them in the, the street. Hunter, you're still going first. I shoot him in the legs. All right. Which one do you want to shoot on the leg? The one in the right or the uh, one in the left? Which one looks more like a baby back bitch? They both look equally as large and intimidating. Uh. Which which one's intimidated? Neither of these two are intimidated. Oh, They're... these are new guys? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, the one on the left, I guess. The one on the left or right? Go Attack. ahead. Oh, Attack him. Do it. I don't, I don't play it. A 13? Does that hit? That does not hit. Bonus action! Alright. Attack with Ace. Ten. Hey, sorry, that but also I got, does not. I got, I got called by my mom. Sorry about that. Um, it's okay. You, uh, you took thirty-two damage. What? No. Uh, that also does not hit. Uh, so okay. the next person to go is actually Marillo. Marillo, it's your turn. Oh. Okay. So, big man. Big yes. man. Two big men. Both two are wearing armor. Man, Both have great flails. Do either of them look magical in any way? No, with they, them? they look like brutes. Oh, they're, they're, oh, they're this guy now. Okay. Two very, very big, very, very strong. I am going to, in fact, let me take a look at how this works real quick. So, uh, I use a little ray of enfeeblement. Alright. Um, okay, I make a range spell attack. Do you hit? Uh, ah, for fuck's sake. Dice pal. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, that is a 24. That hits. I assume that hits. That does Okay, hit. so we're in two minutes. Uh, on a hit, the target only deals half damage with weapon attacks that uh, use strength. So for a minute, all Dang. of his attacks are half damaged. Would you like to attack uh, number one or number two with that? Uh, let's do number two. Number two, all right. Well, I don't have bonus action, so that is it. Uh, for how many? That's ten turns. Turns. All right. So it is now um number one's turn. So uh, he's gonna he's gonna run at Cade because Cade uh, shot him. He's out of my. He just went out of my. Attack yeah, I'm rate. behind you know everyone. Never he should be mind. triggering everyone's he's, attack of opportunity. He's going to attack. He's going to attack head. Lucifer. He's going oh, to yeah, attack you Lucifer. with his great flail, and this one is not. Uh, this one is not enfeebled. So let's see here. Great flail. That is a. That's a. Oh, wait, hey, we need music, guys. That's a third. That's a 12. Does a 12 hit you? No. He's no, gonna use not. multi attack and make another one. He has multi attack. He does. He can attack twice. Uh, that's a 25. Does that hit you? No. Yeah. All right. Cool. 2d6. <laughs> that's a four, and that is a. Oh, come back here. Get back on the desk. And that is a two. That is nine bludgeoning damage. You take nine bludgeoning damage. All right. He's going to. Uh, nope, that doesn't work. He can't multi attack and use that. All right. Is that his turn? Yes, that is his turn. My turn. It. 
is actually Z's turn, I think. How the fuck? Wait, what did Z, Z roll? What did on? you roll? What did, what is Z's initiative? Z, roll us initiative. Oh, I thought again. So it'd be oh, exclamation again? point check in it. Oh, yeah. I N I T. Do it again. Yes. Okay. Do it again. Hey Tibetan, put on some tunes. Bomb some. T oh, okay. Z is now at the top of the initiative order, but we're going to say that he oh. didn't go. So it is actually Tibby's turn. Okay. Use your bones. Uh, you guys to make us can get in music. music. I won't be doing that. Oh, by the You're way, the DJ. Okay. You have the you have the links to the playlist. Would stuff. you like to attack this big man that just hit you? Yeah. You, you should probably mute Iod since they're going to put. She's already muted. I'm not She's gonna do it. You guys can do it. Um. All right. So I'm gonna take out my long sword. All right. I'm guessing I'm bleeding. Would uh he hits you with bludgeoning damage? So your armor has caved a bit. Wait, no, you don't have plate, do you? You have chain. Yeah, you are chain. hit really hard, but you're not bleeding in any way that you could access it. I'm gonna, um... So, like, to use a bonus action to sacrifice three hit points to your sword. Nah, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Well, this does the same damage as Searing Smite, right? Ah, uh, does... What? The 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 awakening does the same damage as Searing Smite, right? No, it just turns it into a plus two weapon for an amount oh, of time. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Now remember that your Searing Smite does now do a D eight instead of a D six. Okay. Because you had not changed. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, Searing Smite my my weapon. All right. And I'm going to attack him. Okay, attack him. My, my attack bonus is that. That's a 16. That does not hit, but as you attack him, he is going to make a dex check for a special uh, reaction. That does not do a thing. All right, he rolled a five, so he cannot do it. All right. Did he use his reaction, though? He did. Uh, let's see here. Whose turn is it now? Whose turn is it now? Oh, I want to move away. Oh, okay, you can move away. You're you'll be leaving his attack range though. He just used a reaction. He, yep, he doesn't have an attack. There's still another he... one. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll move. I'll move. Uh, I'll move. Fifteen feet back. All right. So as you, uh, move the under slum pounder who is enfeebled, you leave his attack range, and he is enfeebled, but he can still attack you. Oh. He has disadvantage. Well, it doesn't matter. He rolled a nat one. Let me roll a d100. He fucking hits his friend. <laughs> that's a sixty. I think he just hit his friend. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Ah. Roll a DC ten dexterity check. He's going to make a dex check. He rolled another nat one. All right. Uh. He throws his great, uh, his great flail at you, and it lands right next to your feet. But you did move back, so it's you don't. It's he he throws it where you were whenever you left uh, your his attack range. Ah, uh, the fuck! That's my turn. All right, whose turn is it now? It's back to the top of initiative order. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is uh, Z. It's your turn. Okay, it's my time to shine. Do the funny thing with your bracelets. Mm, yes, I should. They're still both alive, right? Yeah, they're still both alive. Okay. <clears throat> so first off, I am going to... Uh, uh, arms about yourself, summon. Alright. Let's see here real quick. So, spin a key point. Alright. And the two of them are going to have to make a... Dex saving through DC 13 or take 2d4 damage force. Okay, As one second. A, uh, essentially, the, the flavor of this is that a, a lion like spirit, essentially, of a, a spirit of a lion, shows up on my back and roars a mighty roar. Alright, so you I know. Make, they both need to make dex saves, you said? Yep, DC 13. DC 13, alright, dex saves. One of them does 10, uh, so that doesn't help. 
and then the other one does four, so that also does some health. Yep, so they so take they both damage. four, you said? Uh, 2d4 uh, force damage. Alright, roll me that force damage. Alright, um, I just hit exclamation point roll. So, uh, the handle bar works or? Taking period uh, R, 1d4, oh. um, 2d4, I don't know. Oh, okay. Bup, 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 bup. I'm sure they'll hit someone. Eight. They both take eight. Wow, that's the max. Am I in the way of this? No, or, it, no it's selected to you. It's selected oh. Yeah. Dang it, it would have been funny if Lucifer forgot it. That was a it, bonus action. That would have been funny. <laughs> oh, damn. And I'm going to uh, run up to them. Alright. And I'm gonna... How does the thing work, actually? Is it a bonus action to do the... Uh, no, you can, you can just make three attacks in place of one. Alrighty then. Oh. Three of strikes coming up right now. Oh so, my hit DC is plus five. No. So it's an 11. Probably doesn't uh, hit. That doesn't 16. hit. No. That does not hit. Alright. Two more coming up. That hits. That's your 20. And I'll roll the next one. Nope. <laughs> that doesn't. So you you punch him three times, but he On the way, it's a sixteen. It's a sixteen. My bad. It's a sixteen, twenty, and seven. A sixteen, twenty, and seven. All right. Yeah. It wasn't only, an eleven. Only the twenty hits. Wait. Oh really? Wait. Yes. It's a sixteen. Actually, ignore the eleven part of it. Anyway. Yeah, and I, I see. I see that uh, the um, total number is a sixteen, but it doesn't hit. Ah, shame. So I'm gonna roll one d four. I'm going to assume you're attacking the weaker one that just yeeted his weapon. Yeah, the one that doesn't have a weapon on them, really. Alright. I run up to him, and I'm just going to do that, yeah. Uh, six. Alright. Dang, yep. you're chewing through these. Alright, so it's back down to Hunter. The guy who's uh, the the one I originally focused, the one that attacked Tibby. All right, Lucifer. yeah. Shooty shoot one with normal gun. All right. Seventeen. That does not hit. <laughs> Shooty shoot two. With the bonus action. All right. Another 17. That does not hit. But I'm going to use my precision attack. Can I use my precision attack on the first one? Why not Instead use of it? the second one? Why not use it on the second one? You'll see. Can I use it on the first one? No. Sure. It's already been done. Aww. Oh. All right. So instead of it being 17, it, it is a 20. That hits. Okay, now he needs to make a strength save. Oh wow, I, I sure hope that strength isn't his best stat. Shh. That was a 14. Fail. Alright, is he pro? So now that next attack, that was a 17, will have advantage. Okay, no, I'm you vetoing really let this. Him do that to I'm you. vetoing this. What?! I'm vetoing this, it has to be the second attack. Okay. Well, then I guess he would still need to make a strength save on that second attack. I mean, I'll let you have advantage on your next attack, but I'm not letting you do all both attacks again. Okay, it's fine. So, if the first attack was a 17 to misses, then I, the second one... Was so he's 20. still prone from the second attack, then. Alright, yeah. So how much damage does he take? Uh, he would take... Ooh, I finally get to use my d12. Roll that d12. Oh. A five! Oh, um, so oh, he would take... Wow. <laughs> 10. Shit. Hold 10? on, hold on. Nope, nope. 13 damage. 13, alright. But he's prone, right? Yes. Action surge. Alright. Um, I would use his reaction that he has, but I feel like that would be kind of bullshit. Because it's a melee reaction, so... Mm-hmm. It's his range, that wouldn't count. Is anyone within I... range of him? No. Okay. Oh, that's a 17, so a 24. 
That's my fourth. That also didn't, hits. Didn't Z punch him a bunch of times? Is he not in range? That's true. Oh, but oh wait, I have advantage. Yeah. He doesn't have his reaction back yet. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you roll? Drill 20 with my advantage attack! <laughs> Alright. Does this a, kill him? Is the question. Roll me a D100. The question oh, is, does oh. this kill him, though? Roll me a D100 and those double dice. Okay, so double dice... Oh, wait. Do you want the D100 or the double dice first? Uh, give me the double dice first. Okay, so double dice on damage would be... 8, 9, 10... 13... 13 again? 18. 18. 18. 18. Let me pull up my calculator. Alright, now roll me the D100. I can't tell what that is. I think that's a 100. A 100. So if I roll percentage dice, it's if I roll the the one dice that has zero zero and the other dice has a zero, is that a hundred? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, one hundred. Holy shit! Roll me two more d12. Seven and a five. So another twelve. Another twelve? Are yes. you sure it's twelve? Yes. You were so I could. close. You were Wait. this close. Use another- roll another strength save. Roll another strength save. I'm gonna knock him prone again. He's already prone. <laughs> that's a- You'll that's see. a- that's a- uh, uh, Do it again. <laughs> that's a 13. Doesn't matter, even if he still fails, but I get to add another 5 to that. Alright, so as you shoot him, and as you shoot him with this critically well-placed attack, it goes through his head. And you feel the weapon in your hand, the ace in the hole, as you now know it. You feel a power emanating from it. And that man that you just killed with a critical explodes into a fireball. We all take damage. Everyone within 20 feet, make me a deck save. You dumbass. Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. I don't care how big the room is. <laughs> no, there's no I in team, but there's six in. I don't get, I don't care how, or was it? Look it, I don't care how big the room is, I cast Fireball! <laughs> Another oh. one! <laughs> so, do I need to roll this? Because the Ray of Enfeeblement is like 60 feet range, so I could be quite far away. Do I need to roll this? Uh, it's, okay. it's 20 feet. Make me a DC 15 deck save. Hmm. One of oh, them I'm succeeds. Done. Roll me, though, Hunter. Roll me those notes. All right, I take half of that, so 12 damage. Oh. No, that was like almost all my health. Oh yeah, my bro. god. So wow. Nice. I take 12 damage. All right, all right, all right, you dipshit. Uh, guys, we have a... Uh, uh, are, you, are you 20 feet away, Kruger? I... Or more? Uh, I assume we'd be like kind of close to each other as we got to the door. Wait, right. okay, I just, I also do, I do want to point out that when this guy went to attack Tibetan, or attack Lucifer, he did run to Yeah, Lucifer. no, he, he was, like, I, I think I was, like, 40 feet away from him, but I was, I was 15. Within, I was definitely within 20 feet of uh, Lucifer. I mean, Lucifer was at the, was, like, 15 feet away from him, and he exploded into a fireball. So if you're 20 feet away from Lucifer, then that means you're 35 feet away, which means you're 15 but feet do, outside the area of effect. But do rent the ward, Lucifer, didn't he? He did, but he is still 15 feet away from Lucifer. Oh, so I don't have to Yeah, no, you, you, don't, you don't take the damage. Two-thirds of, two of my health, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no. Um, alright, so he explodes in a fireball. His companion's still up and standing. How many turns has that been? Has that been, like, six turns? I mean, this has been two turns overall. Or yep. We're on round two right now. Yep. I haven't had oh. to the seven thing. Has it even been twelve seconds? Wait, how many? How many? How many turns has it been? Like, how many people okay, have gone? Okay, pretty much one minute. So every round is six seconds. So one yeah. minute would be ten complete rounds. Holy crap! Yeah, just lots of net 20s and lots of attacks just makes it seem like it was way longer, but I, I've only got one turn. Yeah, so th we're literally on approaching 12 seconds of combat. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah well, after Hunter goes, jeez Louise, Marillo, it's your turn. 
a lot of has happened in a very short amount of time. Like, these dudes attacked, and then Hunter blew one of them up. Uh, uh, alright. Okay. Am I bleeding how, now? How cool is the second man no. looking? Um, how hard am I looking? He's looking fine. Why would you be bleeding oh. from fire damage? I mean, a, a piece of his jaw could have, could have just like, right I me mean, in the head. I mean, literally any like just little pebbles could have jumped toward him. Yeah. Yeah. Does he think you can bleed from a burning dress? You're going to have if to it, cut yourself, my friend. No, I could just start bleeding. Like if I just. If... You can I just probably so got hit like by to your a perception <laughs> check to see if you are bleeding. A perception check? <laughs> Roll a con save. If you fail, you're bleeding. Yes. Really? DC 10 con save. 8. Yeah, you fail. You're bleeding from your arm. Oh. Alright. How long it? would you like to... Are you going to feed your blade? Well, it's not my turn. That's true. Alright. Um, it's Murillo's turn. So, I sadly don't have a billion attacks or not plenty ready. I don't want to attack this man, because he has like 18 AC, and I'm not back for melee combat. Uh, I just need- I just need someone to hit him so I can use his reaction. Hmm. That's all well, I want. Well, you know what? Uh, okay, I got a, I got a plan. It's okay, uh, he deals so What is damage. everyone's AC? What is everyone's AC here? Right now it's currently 19. 16. Hunter? 15. Uh, okay, you know what? You, uh, Hunter is not a frontline combatant, so I'm gonna cast a uh, shield of fate on Z. I'm below Hunter! <laughs> it's fine. I'm oh, also you. below Hunter. Uh, Mom's a very right, squishy you're right. man. You're gonna, you're gonna need this one. Yeah, you're right, no, that's fine. Uh, I am so just add, fine. Uh, add plus two to your AC for the next 10 minutes. And Ray of Enfeeblement is not concentration, so I can do this. Wow. Okay. You got an 18 AC now, buddy. That was a bonus action. As my actual action, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on this man. Uh, I'm going to make you- I'm gonna ask you to make me a DC 14 deck save. DC 14 deck save, oh boy. Oh boy, where's my stat block? This man is not built for this. I know. He rolls a nine. Oh, that fails, buddy. Um, so you what is his? Uh, what's his dex score? Fourteen. You take one d eight. That's six damage. Six damage. All right. Six radiant damage. Six radiant damage. Understood. Wow. And that does not He's count as an attack bloodied. hit because that's a save effect. He's looking bloody now. Let's go. Hey. All right. Whose turn Who's is next? it? Who's? It's Tibbetson's turn. All right. For Would my bleeding like arm, I'm going to put man. my blade under the blood pour. How much? How many hit points would you like to sacrifice, or how long would you like it to be empowered for? I would like to be empowered for two minutes. Two minutes. All right. Uh, take one hit point off. All right. Actually no, take two hit points off. We're going to hit point oh. a minute. That's the that's the best way to do this. All right. You are your sword is now. That was a bonus piece. action. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to this guy. I'm just gonna put my blade through him. Okay. Roll me that that thing. With Nineteen. The that hits yeah all right he takes uh how much damage does my sword do how much damage does my sword do let's figure it out figure it Let's out take... i'm going Let's to smite you out. if you ever talk like that again no. you don't you have do a 1v1 time. aramon plus yeah actually five. no you know what that's true it's a 1d8 plus five right since it's yeah yeah one d8 plus five all uh, right, so that's ten damage plus. Oh, wow. Um, plus three fire damage, so that's thirteen total, and he is now on fire. All right. Uh, you're never gonna believe me. He's looking mortal. 
But you attacked him, so he's gonna use his reaction. He's gonna roll a deck save. Oh my gosh, it worked. He rolled a 15. He's going to make one great foil attack with advantage. Oh, Because he's going to use his um, special reaction called Riposte. So he's gonna, he rolls a unnatural 22. Right. And then a 13. So an unnatural 22, and that does hit. So he's going to make his great foil attack. He does do oh, half he does, he does do half damage. Let me do the damage first, please. That's oh. a four. That's a four. That's eight plus three. That's eleven. That's six. You, you take six bludgeoning damage. Are you sure you want the okay. hellish rebuke this man who is below ten hit points? Nah, he's good. Um, so that's a total of uh, I'm really low, by the way. <clears throat> I am below. Uh, I'm below a quarter of my HP. Oh my Look, God. if you go down, I'll heal you. Okay. I like this difficulty. I'm keeping it this way. Mm. I'm below a third of my HP. It's actually. okay. There aren't more of these guys inside. I promise. Yeah, we still gotta fight our way inside. Shit. All right. Whose turn is it now? It's Z's turn. Okay then. Beat the shit out of them. All right, the one that uh, exploded, right? Yeah. Still alive? No, he's dead as hell. Yeah. Right, next one then. Yeah, the <laughs> one that's below ten hit points. Yeah, I'm going to first Look off. Look at him wrong. Uh, unarmed strike. All right. That hits. The oh, twenty three does hit. Eight. Really? <laughs> yeah. Shocker, I know. Oh, he rolled E. 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 Oh yeah, I didn't right. realize what was that. Like, is still he, still he is still alive. Alright, bonus action, unarmed strike. Alright, hit him again. Oh yeah, you are again a monk. I was gonna say, wait, I thought monks would do that. Oh, and that again hits. and again and again. Alright. He just, he just keeps Don't. hitting. Don't deal one damage. You can't not oh, kill him. Big money. At least do four. You can't not kill him. Yeah, nope. no, he's dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna like pummel his face yeah. until it's like flat pancake on the ground. Alright, uh, yeah, you do that. He is very dead. If he had a minus three to uh, Dex, he could actually not kill him there with a bunch. No, I'm gonna mention, right. by the way, I'm gonna keep the, the lion, the astral self, upon my back. Alright, so you guys just defeated two underslum pounders of the spitter gang wow hey can i search the body of the guy that i killed yeah you can actually there's what not really body? a body left <laughs> i'm From... gonna search the body of the guy i killed all right yeah you can do that is his armor right. still there 13 copper z can i take oh, his armor uh he doesn't exist from the waist up okay then can i take the guy that z killed's armor you sure you want to take it? Um, it's like, yes, really I want the armor. All right, yeah, you can I'm going to armor. use 15 hit points of my lay on hands on myself. Right. So what kind of armor does he have? Because that high AC makes me think he had it. plate armor. You gain shoddy plate armor. You know how it's disadvantaged to dex checks. I thought it was just stealth. I already stealth. have that. Uh, Give him here. <laughs> I thought it was just stealth. Oh yeah, but it's this fleet armor is real shitty. So. It's it's really bad. Oh, the only oh it's reason, that bad. Okay. The only oh, reason that... they could use it is because they've been using it for the past like seven years, so they didn't oh. have disadvantage. They Damn, bro, that's shitty, dude. Okay, if it's that bad, I'm gonna put more holes into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Thanks. Dip. Shit. You didn't want that armor. All right. Would you like to continue inside? Yes, sir. I already have disadvantage on everything Dex. Alright. So, 
Uh, you enter. Have saved. You Next enter the big building. So it's a pretty dang big room. It's like sixty by like fifty feet. Hey, while he's gone, instead of going into the room, can we take a short rest? No, we gotta finish sure. this now. You can take a short rest. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, well short actually, rest wait, is like no, an hour. No, can't take a it's short rest. It's thirty minutes. What do you mean? Go. What do you mean? We, we have time for a short rest. rest. But they're all alerted, though. They are all alerted. They oh, yeah, you're just right. heard a bunch of combat outside. Okay. Alright, well, while, right back. Then, while we're waiting, can I use my second win? What did I you want to use can. your thing to do? What? What did you want to use your thing to do? I want to use second wind. All right, I yeah. just want to heal. Sure. Okay. Right. Would Let's you like to empty? I mean, on. enter this, enter this, this uh, hideout. Yeah. Sir, monk man who has 18 AC, please go in front. No, well, I'll go in front. I I'll can volunteer him to be in front. I will go in front. I will go to let him go. I have a higher AC. What's your AC? Oh, you can both, AC is you can 19. Both, you can right. both be in front for fuck's sake. Yeah. Is it a double it's door? Or is it just one space? It's, it's a door. It's a single door. Inside. I'll go through the door. Alright, go through the door. With my shield up. In so, case anyone tries to You shoot enter. Um, as you enter, the door is flanked by four columns. Uh, off to the top left corner, you see a stack of smuggled goods. Like a bunch of crates, a bunch of barrels. Some of them have been pried open. There's stuff laying on the floor. You can't really tell what it is. Uh, to your right, there are two long tables, each with six stools at it. There are some broken glasses and stuff at the tables. This place looks fairly empty, but there are some dead bodies on the ground. How recent do they look? They look pretty recent. Someone got really angry and put rounds through these people's heads. Uh, there is, is your a, work, Ted? There is a door on the top right corner of the room. I will go over to it cautiously, and can I uh, roll a perception check to see if I hear any creaking of the wood from in there? You can, if you'd like to. Uh, I don't hear anything. No, you don't. You wow. hear absolutely nothing. I will go inside. Alright, one second. Oh, my team. All right, we know Mikey in the show. Mikey is canon. Um, you would like to go inside the door? Yeah. So the inside hall... the door. Okay, so he goes into the door. There's a little more hallway to your right. There are more crates at the end of that hallway, and then it looks like it curves around up into the left. So it looks like there's another room behind the wall. Would you, would we'll you walk like... over to it. All right, at the far end of this l big long hall, the 60 foot long, 15 foot wide hall, you see a desk. Mm. There's a man sitting at the desk. He's got a cowboy hat on. And he's, he's smoking a cigar, not a cigarette, a just a cigar. Oh, Does anybody put, come with me? I put a cigarette in my mouth. I, I assume we're all behind you. So the man with the cowboy hat, he looks up, he surveys all of you, he sees Cade in the back with his guns, and he stands Cade's not up. even looking at him, Cade's looking down, lighting his cigarette. So, okay, so you want to say anything? He looks up, and he sees Cade, Cade with his guns, and he says, well, now, looks like we got ourselves another slinger. How about you say we go a little one-on-one? -on -one? He, he Dude, loves... literally just wait until level 7 and I could, like, use my Know Your Enemy feature and tell if he has a higher dexterity than I do. Uh, okay. Kate's gonna, like, while he, like, while covering the match with his... Uh, with his hand, lighting a cigarette, just shakes it out, takes a drag. 
looks at him. This since Kane doesn't try to look like a cowboy, he just kind of this is the style that he likes yeah. to wear. But since this guy literally looks like a cowboy, he's gonna look at him and just like kind of mockingly squint his eyes, take his cigarette out of his mouth, make you move, cowboy. That was a perfect time change on the music. Holy shit! He's going to stand up. Oh no! You, you take his cigar it. out of his mouth and grind it out against his desk. He's gonna walk around his desk. He's gonna. Play the shot right now. <laughs> unscrew a. Un he's gonna take a, a coat flask out of his jacket, or out of his vest. He's gonna take a swig. He's gonna screw the cap back on, put it back in. Uh, would you like to roll me initiative, Cade, and only Cade? Oh, boy. Where'd Zog go? Oh, Z's gone. Oh, oh Z is... 22. 22? All right, let me roll his... He has a chance to get equal or higher than you. He does not. He rolls a four. All right. Cade, you go first. Um... It's gonna be such a waste, though. Oh wait! Oh, mate, it is. A, if you don't spend every single resource you have, I'm gonna be pissed at you. This is a true cowboy's duo. Oh, Kate's gonna look at him just with the, with the silence ready to draw, as he, in his right hand, points at him with finger guns and goes pa. Uh, oh my god. He's not playing. So what he actually does is he, he's gonna make his a, a an actual ranged weapon attack. Like, I have- if he- as he's getting ready, I'm gonna use my bonus action and shoot. Alright. <laughs> uh, shoot him. Um... Alright. Oh wait, who's my? Uh, oh. How important of an NPC is this? This is this is the important NPC. Cause I just snatch twenty. All right, yeah. With my bonus action attack, which is the ace in the hole. All right, uh, all right, bet. Would would you like to roll me that double dice? Okay, low damage on the first roll. Oh, hi. Okay, uh, sir. Roll me that, uh, D100. 18. 18 damage. All right, bad. Oh, fuck, I dropped my dice. Uh, okay, so that's a 90... 90. How many, how many... One second, I have to look at how many hit points he has. 90? A 90? If only I had taken your... No, 90 on the D100 roll. All right, how many damage did you roll? 18. 18? If only I had taken disarming attack. Oh boy. Shoot the gun out of his hand. It's okay, he has two. Uh, alright, so you know, rolled a 90. Can I do that? Can I shoot the, the... No. Damn. Uh, roll an additional set of damage dice, my dear friend. Oh. Dude. That's 90 through 100 is additional damage 40, dice. 40, 4, 8. Eight. 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 Alright, I can work with eight. Um, you know what? I'm gonna save that. I, I don't think this is important enough. Let me just save that. Alright. Alright, so he's gonna go now. Uh, he's gonna go and attack with his guns. Smith and Katie. Smith and last one. Smith and Katie. All right, where is the spitter gunslinger? Here he is. All right, uh, roll the hit. He's he's only gonna attack once because he's also gonna do something else. Uh, my dear friend, does an unnatural twenty-five hit you? Yes. All right, where's my D ten? Where is my D ten? Where the heck is my D ten? It's gone. You're uh, just rolling the bot. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll the bot. It disappeared. I run D ten plus three. That's a ten damage to you, my dear friend. Oh lord. And he's like sixteen dex? Wow. 
Uh, because he... No, I'm not gonna do that to you. You have low hit points. Just do it, do it, do it. This is a hard game. Alright, he's gonna use his twice a day action. Well, his twice a day bonus action. Uh, which is called take a swig. He's gonna take a swig out of his, his whiskey coat flask. Let me roll a d4. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. That's a one. He regains three hit points. All right, your turn. Ah, uh, shooty shoot. All right, shoot him. Shooty shoot, bang bang bang. Can I aim? Can I specifically aim for the gun with disadvantage? I think you could make a case that uh, you could just do a normal attack, but do uh, non-lethal damage, just flavor as the gun with a disadvantage. Okay. Okay, so that first roll is a nat twenty. Second roll, the thirteen. That does not hit. No, but it's a thirteen plus seven. That does hit. He loses one of his guns. Bonus action. Shoot for the other gun. Disadvantage. <laughs> That's an eighteen. That's a seven. Fourteen. But that does not hit. I will use precision attack. He's going to use his reaction to dodge the bullet. Boo. Let me roll his actually. Let me roll his deck save because he has to roll a deck save for this. Oh, come on, come here. Come Wait, what if the attack just straight? Hit? Okay. That's a twelve. Uh, yeah. He does not save. Does that? It does not save. Does oh. Not save. Okay. So you. I'm so it was sure... fourteen. Yeah. Plus a one d eight to hit um hold on please roll a one five roll ah uh, yeah you hit him his other gun's gone he no longer has weapons he doesn't care though you want to know why why i don't i don't know he, he's gonna pull out a knife the knife not, no, the gun. screw this. He's pulling out two more guns. <laughs> He's strapped. <laughs> well, it takes an action to interact with something. That's so. true. Item interaction. He opens his coat, and then inside you can see that his <laughs> chest is a machine gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, this is the Warforged. Please tell me this guy looks like Sam Elliott. One second, let me see what Sam Elliott looks like. I don't know who Sam Elliott is. I don't know anyone. He does indeed look like Sam Elliott. I know that. Yes! <laughs> Alright, well, if it takes an action to interact with something, is it my turn again? It's your turn. He's gonna he's gonna pull out a long rifle. Can I aim for the rifle? <laughs> with disadvantage. Um, You're gonna kill him by burning his fingers slightly. 13, 9, 16 to hit. That hits. My I gosh. can go all day. <laughs> Good lord. I need to give these people <laughs> higher ACs. No, you don't. No, you don't. They're already really high. <laughs> uh, dang it. All right. What, what can I do? I have nothing left. Uh... He can just give up. He, he was best in a duo. You know what? He doesn't care. He's going to pull out a knife. He's running okay, at you. That's an action to interact with an item. It's my turn to then. It's my turn to Item interaction. Bro, it's an item interaction. Uh, drawing a weapon is free. Uh, I, I think at this point, the duel is over. It's okay for us to interfere, right? I mean, you can, but that doesn't mean that his knife isn't special. Well, does he have a fucking gun knife? No. They have a gun knife. Well, okay, okay now no, what? Fuck you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bonk him in the face. I'm intervening. He's gonna run at Cade. Uh, he's gonna... reaction shoot. Do you have a reaction prepared? No, but no. I just want to... I don't want Kyrk to get... No, you cannot reaction shoot. No you reaction won, to you. Won the duel. He's gonna. He's going to attack you with his knife. I was just desperate. Would you like to make a perception check on his knife as he attacks you with it? 
because this sure. is another destiny. If, it, if, it, if is... it's a free action, can I do that? Yeah, this is another destiny cool. to reference. You take a better look at the knife and you realize that it's actually a gun. He just gets my illusion. Twenty one. The knife has <laughs> it's a. It's actually a gun. <laughs> the knife. Uh, the knife has a name engraved on its side. The name is Risk Runner. Oh, I was, gonna, I was gonna say, I swear to fucking god, if it's Jessica, I'm gonna beat this guy. It's not a gun. No. Uh, he rolls a 15 to hit. Uh, it's... No, it doesn't. Alright, uh, are you, got, are you guys... It's 15. Are you guys it's close... It's 16 since I increased my dex to 20. Are you guys close to Cade? I assume we were like... They're both in the ends of the corridor, or just along I, the corridor. I was, I was assuming that we were like 10 feet away from him. Alright, so... Uh, the knife's got this special feature. Well, Kurukia said he was gonna bonk him in the face, so I'm assuming Kurukia moved up. If two or more enemies are close within attacking range, it becomes a plus three weapon. So technically, he hits. Uh, technically. Hey, uh, Zal has said that it's okay if. Uh, okay. Hey, your gift. Hey, do me a favor and fuck off. Don't make this a plus three weapon. Do not make the knife a plus. Hey, you know what? He's going to attack, but he's going to fail. I'm just going to say straight up that he fails, because I, you beat him fair and square by blowing Wait, up all of his weapons. Can I karate chop him? <laughs> you can karate chop him, yes. I'm going to karate chop the back of his neck. All right. He's like the he fucking collapses. Monty Python's Black, Monty it, Python's Black Knight. Just, you blow his arms off. That's a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have successfully defeated the spitters by taking down their head. Which means they will now be running around like chickens with their heads cut off, because that is what they are. Um, so, that was it, huh? That, that's that's it. Well, that there was, was supposed to be more, but we are running out of time. I have to leave in 30 minutes, so... Let's just wrap this up real quick. Yeah, uh, that means I overplanned for this session, but that's okay, because that means, like, in two weeks... Session 1.2. No, it'll be just, it'll just be session two. So yeah. I'm gonna. Aid's gonna I'm take gonna a cigarette out of his mouth and flick it at the guy on the ground. I'm, I'm gonna walk over to the guy on the ground. That's oh. disrespectful. As Groth smites you, you take oh. 1d100 plus 100 smite damage. Wanna... <laughs> I'm gonna walk over to the guy on the ground. Light. Damage. All right. I'm gonna take his. I'm gonna take his uh, knife. All right. Is it like a dagger? It's a knife. It's a, it's like, like a, a dagger. it's like a long knife, like a skinning or a. Would it fit in my in my dagger holster? That I have? No. Put sure? in your boot or something. It would not. It's a Can very try? long knife. How long is it? It's got like a seven inch blade. How long is it? I think has rifle. His rifle was. Yeah, I'll go this... collect his guns, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna become the. I'm gonna become the Big general gun. grievous of, of guns. <laughs> I'm gonna take all the f weapons of my fallen enemies. Oh my god! So, are you picking up his rifle? Yeah, I'm gonna pick up all of his guns. Yeah. They're Slow gonna need repair because you, you sent bullets here. into them. Oh, fuck you. What'd you say? They're gonna need repaired because you sent bullets into all of them. That is true, but I do have Tinkerer's tools. That's true. Um. Right, they now are, I have a plus two knife. They huh. are magic crystal weapons. Hey, I don't have to use ammo, that's what's up. Look at this bitch. Well, this guy's crystal, older than me and I'm more old shots. school than him. Oh, I'm go shit with you. Buddy, you have two arms and five weapons. I think the math checks out. That could... Kirk could get one of one. your guns. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. you want one of them? Yes. What do you? Which one do you want? Yes. As I, he's just gonna hold out the rifle and the two pistols. Here, you can have the rifle. Uh -huh. Yes. Actually, good because I can use it as two hand weapon. I still have. You now hands have for stuff. a fader Magitek Thanks. long rifle. I am fucking gone. It deals <laughs> cold damage. Oh. Yeah. One d ten yeah. cold damage plus your dex modifier. So, All right. I'm just. I'm really just gonna throw my spear on the ground and get the gun. <laughs> Bro, stick, stick the spear in the barrel of the gun. That doesn't. No. Stop. 
All right, we'll find an artificer and make it work Revo like that. This is. Revise a harpoon. Oh my gosh, no. Uh, are uh, we uh, are we all done here? This yeah, I, I, I think I think this wraps up session one. Let's Hell get back yeah. to the uh, let's get back to the end. Yeah, first. you can go let's back to back the in. inn. Go back to the inn and then get 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 brought back to sneak and then sneak will arrange and then we can end it. Cool. Uh, we, we can we can end it on uh, us leaving in the carriage. Uh, it's not a carriage. You're not leaving in a carriage. And then the let's just say that let's just end it here. We're gonna go back to the end. Like... Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll pick okay. up in the end. But... The screams of an. Of a flesh amalgamation echo through the under slums as we Bro, fade bring it to up. black. I got six, I got four guns. Uh, Aramo, let me just get the the stats of the rifle that I got. Uh, how heavy it. is it? How much does it weigh? Or he can just DM it's like it a to six you pound right rifle. Now. I'll I'll write up some stats for the rifle. Uh, how heavy does the special knife weigh, by the way? The knife? It's a very light knife. Does it weigh anything? It'll break on a nat one though. Does, Does it weigh it's, anything? It's a very light knife. It's Does less, it weigh anything? It's less than a pound. Does it weigh anything? It's less than a pound. Alright. That was very aggressive. Okay, well, I, I guess, uh, thank you for listening to this, uh, closer fuck of events. Um, oh, yeah, shit. Recording this. Yeah, this has been recorded. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's alright. I'll cut out the parts that I don't like, because that's the power of editing. Oh, He's the cheater! Ah! Ah! Alright. Um, well, uh, thank you for listening. And uh, good goodbye, people. Goodbye. Z's goodbye. And Z's We're all gonna goodbye. die next one. Yeah, I can't wait for you guys to fight a flesh amalgamation. Subscribe. Yeah, wait to meet my brother. Give me money. Like and favorites and <laughs> favorite videos. <laughs> I think they don't. Do people favorite podcasts? I don't yeah. know. Add us on Spotify, because that's the only place we'll be. Spotify. You're probably listening to this on Spotify. Woo! Or YouTube, depending on what I decide to do. Yeah, okay, goodbye. I'm ending the recording now. In three, two, one, goodbye. What? Is it time for me to read my script? Who's in their underwear? You. <laughs> Whoa, how'd you know? Do I have my camera on? Yeah, we can see everything. That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Dance for you. I'm doing a little dance. You guys like it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is going in. The, this is going in the uh, recording. Tour. Yeah! <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm ready. <laughs> Alright, I have a script. Um, I'm gonna read the script. Oh. Hold up. Let me, let me find my, my script. What the? Oh, you. You're finally awake. No. Alright. <laughs>